Take a look at how to install a hard drive on the HP TG01. So yeah, so here it is. Tip it over. Okay, there should be a screw right there. Not really sure. Mine didn't come with one, so I just unscrew that. And then you slide it off. Okay. Uh, I already took mine out, and I have a few screws already missing, or took it, took it out. So yeah, let's take a look. And then, you have to slide off the front panel, okay? Check nothing is connected to the USBs or anything. And then you push the clips. Okay, and then it'll drop out. And then it'll be connected to the front LED. And then this is why you cannot change the motherboard. It's HP custom to the front panel. Okay, and then right... There is a screw, and you need to take that off. I already took mine off. So right there, you see that? Okay, and then you'll be able to remove this part, which is the hard drive panels, or case, casing, okay? And there it is. You can put an SSD right there, I'll show you, and then you can put the basic old mechanical hard drive right there. So let's take a look. And I'm not sure if you have a SATA cable, okay? So you need a SATA cable, which is only connected to the only one SATA. Oh, there's three more. There's three more back there. So you have to connect them to your hard drives. The blue one, the white one, and then there's one already connected right here. And then here's the power supplies. So yeah. So let's take a look at it. Here is the uh, SSD. You put it right here. Whoops. Um, that screw right there. That screw right there. And you match it. Also, touch your power supply first before you actually work on this. Because you want to discharge all the static electricity from your body as possible. So there are the four screws. When you attached it here. Let's take this out. up slide out drop somewhere okay and drops right there and then you should be able to stick your SSD in the back and then screw it in got it and then you flip it over put it in drop it in and then attach the cables One, okay, and then you attach the power one. Got it. This could be a SSD or a laptop mechanical drive, which I have. And then for a mechanical one, which I usually use, is you slide it in. You take it out first. Okay. Right there, and then you attach it, and then you screw in this, the screws right there, right there, and two more on the other side, right there, and right there. You could have both of them in there, so let's check. We have this one first, okay, and then you have this one on top, which does fit. Keep in mind to have this correctly facing down because you need the cables to be attached right there and then voila so you have both SATA SSD and the old mechanical hard drive and then you attach it, put it back in like that slide down, I'll lock in right here and then after you screw them in, I don't know if it comes with, it doesn't really come with any screws, so you're gonna have to get the screws. Okay, and then you screw back in, so it doesn't move outward and stuff, and then you hook it back in. So let's see, right, I don't know if I can do it with one hand, but, yeah. You have to hook in the bottom first, 
And then, let's see. I'm not sure how to do this with one hand. So voila, close enough. Voila, that's how you install a hard drive. Or multiple of them. And then there's the M.2 hard drive. Just unscrew that, slide it out, and then push in another one. If you want to upgrade that one. That's, I already upgraded that one. It was too small for me. So yeah. If you have any questions or anything, leave me a message. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See ya.